The three new uh, effects in the effects tab are so cool in Canva. I think you're going to really love them. So I've preloaded a few images uh, just to give you an idea of how they, uh, the shadow, it's actually a shadow effect tool, the frames effects and the mockups. So I'll start with the mockups. And I'll just click on my image and go to effects and it'll open up the apps and the smart mockups are on the very top line. So I'll go to see all and um, it has, I think, 128 variants of mockups that you can pop your image in. So the top ones are like um, laptops and iPhones. So I'll just click on the laptop and it will take my image and suck it into the photo of uh, the laptop. Um, like voila really really easy um and then you can do it with iphones but i also like um there's got things like greeting cards which i'll click on that one and it'll take the same photo and pop it onto a greeting card there's um also this one's a great one it's like um a billboard picture on the side of a bus um shelter and um, the other one I really love is the sweatshirt option. So if I click on that, it'll pop my face onto a sweatshirt. And then um, you'll notice every time I click on an option, it'll have the lines with the circles on top. So you can click on that again and it will actually take that color swatch there. And if I change it to pink, um, there, is it changing? There we go. It's changed the um, uh, sweatshirt into pink. Um, there's just, um, I'll give you another option. I'll go to my photo again. I'll go to see all in mockups. And if you scroll to the very bottom of the mockups, they have some really cool coffee cups. So I'll grab the, actually I'll grab that one and um, it'll take my image and <laughs> pop it onto the front of the coffee cup which I think is rather cool. Same again, if you click the lines and circles um, and then change the colour swatch, you could have a red cup of coffee if you like. <laughs> so I think that tool is so nifty, it's really good. So I'll go to the top um, image, which is just a picture of a donut, and um, I'll just make it a little bit smaller. And um, if I click on the, the donut and go to effects, I'm going to use the frames effects this time. And if I go right to the bottom, the frames is at the bottom and I'll go to see all. And um, I think there's 28 different options of frames. So in a way, it's a little bit like a mock-up as well because it's got the laptop and iPhone, um, which if you wanted to, if you clicked iPhone, it'll take that photo and pop it into the screen of the iPhone. But if I go to like a neon frame, it just pops the frame around the square image. It's got glitter frames, which are gorgeous, photo uh, film frames, which are really lovely, actual, they are real lifelike photo frames, um, which I think this one's in a horizontal uh, shape, whereas the photo of the image is, um, it's sort of not really working, and, um, but I think I think um, actually the circle one might work better. I think too um, the effects tools been getting a bit of um, uh, workout from everybody because it's such a new thing in Canva. I think it's uh, everyone's sort of testing it out. Now I'll go back up to oops no I'll go sorry I hit the wrong button. I'll go to 50% now and I'll hit on. This is like a vector image of myself and I'll go to effects while it's highlighted and I'll show you the shadows, which the shadows are, I think, uh, second last at the bottom and um, I'll go to see all as well and that will give you six options of shadows. So there's the glow, which is just a nice hue around the back. There's the drop shadow, the angle, which is like a rotation, um, curved and page lift. Uh, very good for um, like a flat image which I'll show you in a minute and backdrop would have to be my favorite it gives like a sundial image so if I go again to the lines and circles on top of the backdrop button it'll open it up into a new tab where I can hit vertical angle 
and it'll drop the shadow even flatter or bring it up tighter. The horizontal, horizontal angle will rotate it and the transparency will lighten or darken and the blur will soften if you prefer that. And if I go the colour swatch and just say I want to hit a pink or purple, it'll throw it in a purple colour. So I might just make it a bit darker. So that's um, another cool option. So I just want to go to this. Um, this is just like a square photo. Now I'll go to, and I've got effects. Oops, I've clicked up. And I'll go to shadows again and see all and I'm going to show you the curved effect with the shadow it actually like lifts the image up like it's actually popping up off a desktop and the page lift is pretty much the same